Well, those who loved whose loved ones were killed by APD officers called today's announcement vindication. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese is live from APD headquarters. Regina. Well, this process has been emotional for families from losing their loved ones to begging for reforms to protesting. And now those mothers and those fathers will be able to sleep a little better at night knowing that APD will be required by law to implement changes. A good day for families at the center of the Albuquerque Police Department reforms. I think that families have seen a vindication with this consent decree. We worked very hard to get here, and I think it's a win for all of us. The news that 106 pages worth of changes will be enforced at APD leaves mothers and fathers feeling hopeful. Hopeful. All because this is a historic event. Many felt skeptical changes would one day come to the Albuquerque Police Department. I think we're very pleased. Uh, this is something we've worked on for a long time. This is something that many of us thought would probably never happen. Some of the reforms include strict lapel camera enforcement, citing cases of cameras not turned on by officers or malfunctioning. I think certainly the use of force and the requirement of the lapel cameras and the, the, all that equipment that they should have on at all times is, is definitely a big plus for us. Today, loved ones of those killed by APD thanked the community. People who decided to march, people who decided to, to even risk being arrested. A community movement inspiring change. Now, with the consent decree, it means that the city of Albuquerque has to do something. Not just talk about it, not just, you know, say, well, we'll get to it. They have to do it. Now, tonight, the families do have some hesitations that they told me about. They're concerned about the amount of time that it's going to take for that new training to go into effect and also an overall change in culture at APD. Reporting live tonight at APD headquarters, Regina Ruiz, Action 7 News. Well, the families met with the Department of Justice and the Albuquerque Police Department for about a half hour before today's announcement. We're going to go back now to Nancy 